It's coming, guys. A recession is imminent. It's going to happen. So how do you make yourself recession-proof? Well, that's exactly what we're going to talk about in this video. So let's get started. All right, guys. Well, welcome back to Free to Be. If you're new to the channel, welcome. If you've been here before, thanks for joining us again. But if you are new, don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below. We do upload videos on financial literacy, so this is the place you want to be for that information. I also provide you guys with some of my creative content from time to time, so you're going to want to make sure to subscribe. All right, now one more thing before we get into this video. Don't forget that my giveaway is going to end pretty soon. If you guys want to be eligible to win a $100 Amazon gift card that I'm going to be giving away on this channel, make sure you watch the video that I'll link up above and down in the description. You'll learn how you can become eligible for that $100 giveaway and what you need to do to win it. All right, guys, so believe it or not, a recession will come. I mean, it's imminent. It's going to happen at some point. So how do you prepare yourself? How do you prepare for a recession so that you're not put in any kind of financial constraint under any kind of uh, unduly stress or unneeded stress so you're best prepared for it? Well, I have some tips that'll help you get along and kind of cope with the recession and carry yourself through it. All right, so basically we're going to go over five tips today that'll help you become recession proof and just kind of really build yourself up financially so that these kind of things don't impact you because again they do happen often in our you know society it's not you know happening all the time but it does happen every eight to ten years or so so you're going to want to prepare for them the best you can so tip number one you got to have an emergency fund okay this is a, a cash reserve that you build up for yourself so that you're not relying on debt or having to you know sell things that you don't need to sell or you lose your house you know you want to have some cash reserves and typically you want to build up at least six months worth of expenses but start slow build you know a couple months at a time try to get to three months if you can and six months would be the ideal place to be now when you're calculating this factor things like rent or mortgage your car uh, payments if you have any of those you know your groceries need to be factored in there as well and then any kind of reoccurring expenses you have on a monthly basis those should all go into this budget because what you're not going to want to do is build up a you know cash fund of only six months worth of rent and then you don't have money to eat right so that's a uh, key as well so you're going to want to make sure you factor in all the necessities uh, a lump sum payment so if your rent is 1200 if your car payment is 300 if your groceries are 400 maybe you don't have something in the line of like 2500 dollars a month um, that's your basic budget for a monthly uh you know uh sustainable living so you're going to want to have at least three months try going for six so you're going to want to have anywhere between 7500 and 15000 dollars in cash reserves and now I know that seems like a lot to think about having all at once where you're like, where am I going to get this $15,000 from? You build it. You build it slowly. Maybe every paycheck you put a couple hundred dollars away and you build the cash reserve. If you have some extra things around the house, get rid of them, build the cash reserve. It's key to have one of those. And the whole point of that is you're planning for something bad that might happen uh, as opposed to being caught off guard, right? So always plan for the worst and hope for the best. So Look, you might not ever use this cash reserve. This might just sit there in perpetuity forever. And that's always a good thing. But it's better to have it than not have it and struggle and stress and try to figure something out later. You just want to be prepared for the worst case scenario. And I hope and we all hope that we have the best case scenario moving forward and we never have to touch that emergency cash fund. All right. Now, the second tip to make yourself recession proof is start living within your means. I mean, look, this doesn't just apply to becoming recession proof. We should always try to live within our means. Don't go above and beyond. Don't stretch all your paychecks so that every last dollar is spent when you get paid. You know, live within your means. Don't go get a luxury car. Don't go spend money on, you know, some nice shoes or a belt that you don't need that are just luxury items that the money could be used otherwise. Look, yes, we all like fine things. We all like nice things. You can get those things later if you plan accordingly. But don't just go and just, you know, on a whim, spend money or, you know, uh, 
uh, decide to make financial, big financial decisions uh, that, are, that basically stretch you too thin in terms of your financial security. It's not worth it. So always make sure you're living within your means until you build up enough of a nest egg where you're comfortable to go ahead and splurge from time to time. Now, the third tip is to invest and keep investing. Now, I know that when panic ensues and people are wor worried about their investments and their tanking and everything like that, the first thought is, I got to get out. Let me sell everything I own. But that is the worst thing you can do because you have essentially bought high and sold low. And Investing 101 says that is a no-no. So don't do that, okay? Because I'll tell you right now that you actually don't realize any losses until you sell them at that low price low cost, right? Low price, whatever it is, you haven't experienced it because look, yes, it's an investment and it goes down, but it will also go back up. So don't feel like you need to sell right away because you haven't really experienced the loss until you sell those assets, until you sold, sold those investments or sell those investments, you're not realizing any loss. So let them ride out, keep investing if you can, because look, the key to investing is to buy low, and sell high so don't panic just keep investing stick to your plan and i promise you that it will bounce back and those investments especially in the stock market will end up going back up they go up and down ebbs and flows this happens this has happened since the creation of the stock market 100 years ago so don't worry about it keep investing stick to the investments and do not liquidate any of your uh investments if you can avoid it make sure to do so now the fourth tip to make yourself recession proof is to pay down your debts so that you have a good credit score. Now, this is very important because a good credit score goes a long way during a recession when banks and lenders tighten up and only extend credit to those of us with excellent credit scores. So try as hard as you can before a recession comes up to pay down your debts and to increase your credit score to the highest number that you can increase it to because it will help you out. If you're in a pinch during a recession and you do need some extra funds, you're not going to be able to get a loan unless you have some excellent credit. So make sure you build up that credit score, pay down your debts. This will also help budget your emergency cash fund because the less reoccurring debt you have to pay for and worry about, um, the better you'll be because you can then have a little bit less in your cash reserve funds, in your emergency fund for that. So pay down your debts, make sure you have a decent credit score, try to build that up as much as possible because that's always gonna be helpful too. Credit scores are extremely important and I'll go ahead and make a video about how important they are and what their importance is and what to look for for credit scores uh, later. And if you wanna see that, let me know in the comments down below, but keep your credit score up, keep the credit bills down and you'll be set there. And the fifth tip to becoming recession proof is to keep your skills and your resume sharp, okay? Focus on updating your resume every so often, even when we're not in a recession, it's always good to have an up-to-date resume, but make sure you're keeping your skills and the value you bring to your current employer at an all-time high, okay? Make yourself indispensable to your employer. Make yourself so valuable, so versatile, that if they do need to have layoffs, they don't even think of you as a person that would, you know, be somebody, a candidate that they would want to, you know, let go. Make yourself invaluable to your employer. And that can be done in a lot of ways. Make sure you're doing the best you can do at your current position, what your current roles are and your functions that you're doing at your job. But then go ahead and pick up some extra work. Uh, figure out what it is that other people don't want to do at your company and do that. Be the only person that does it, but make sure it's something that is bringing value, obviously, to the business and something that they need and they'll always need and just do it and make sure you're doing that well enough for them where they're like, look, this guy, this gal, they're doing two jobs for the price of one. We can't afford to lose them. Even if they have to do layoffs, you are safe because you have effectively done two jobs for the price of one. It's a no brainer. They're going to keep you. They're going to need you as an essential member of their team. So make sure you're keeping your skills sharp at work. Keep your resume sharper just in case and you'll be good to go. Now, another thing I can recommend for sure is, you know, build good relationships network. You always want to have people you know where this could really apply to any time. If you ever are in a position where you've lost your job, you want to make sure you have a good enough network where you can go and relatively quickly without digging into your emergency funds, find something else to replace that income. So make sure you're keeping all that in tuned because that is important too. All right, guys, like I mentioned, a recession is coming. It's going to happen. So why not prepare yourself to the best of your abilities? Why not be prepared so that when something like that does go down, you are in the best shape that you can be? 
All right, guys. Well, that's all I have this week. If you enjoy this video, don't forget to like, comment down below. And if you're new, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. We'll see you next time.